What's up guys? So we went over crimping on our last video. Let's go over some sleeving. Now what sleeving might we want? We got some old Flexo Pet. Here's some Cobra up here. I'm actually a real big fan of this stuff. Okay, this is the, what do we got here? Black, yellow, this stuff is awesome. Um, now, Flexo Pet is not everyone's favorite sleeving. Let's do this. Let's go over the three main brands, well, four brands of sleeving I have and the differences. So, Flexo Pet, this is known as Tech Flex. This is a very common, well known, um, I believe this is USA made. Um, doesn't say on there. Ooh, it's Rose compliant. But anyway, so Flexo Pet and Tech Flex. When you're into the eighth inch and the quarter inch sleeving, you get these really fine strains. You know, and this is the big complaint about this stuff. Um, it's very expandable, but it's not real dense, not high density. When you get into the thicker stuff, uh, let me find some like this guy here. Uh, this is like half inch sleeving. As you can see, they start using thicker strands, but it's still not considered high density sleeving. It is incredibly easy to work with, though. Here's another example of some of the uh, some of the Flexo low density. All right, we have tons of different colors of Flexo. Oops, sorry, my tripod's getting stuck on everything. So Cobra, unlike Flexo, um, this happens to be UV, but Cobra is a little higher density. Let's find some smaller Cobra. Here would be well, pink's a bad choice. Let's go over to the Cobra section. All right. So for example, it's one of my favorite colors in Cobra especially. Sorry about the camera guys, doing my best here. It's not as easy as it looks to be a YouTuber. Not that I'm a YouTuber. But anyway, so Cobra, fairly high density, doesn't quite flare up as much, but that's what they mean by density is just how much of the wire or material you'll see underneath. The densest stuff we have is going to be Bits Power sleeving. All right, let's grab some Bits Power. Now, as you can see, this stuff is stupid dense, and it doesn't really expand at all. We'll zoom right in on that. That stuff is stupid dense, all right? But not very expandable. It's hard to work with, but it looks great. The Cobra sleeving, which, again, to compare, here's some more Cobra. Sorry about the camera. A little bit less dense. This is kind of your standard high quality sleeving, I would say. Um, let's compare that back to some more Flexo Pet or uh, Tech Flex, just so you can see. So here's the Tech Flex again. See how it's less dense. Now we also have Lutro sleeving, which Lutro's been gone for a long time. Uh, if you don't know who Lutro is, look him up. He does a lot of good old school sleeving videos. Here's some. Oh, sorry. One second, guys. Here is some Lutro Telios. All right, here's an example of some, and his stuff is pretty high density as well. It's, uh, I would say it's between, it's between Cobra and Bits Power. We have tons of Lutro, um, really nice colors. Okay, like, look at that blue that like textured blue, that would look really good with Noctua right there. Telio sleeving, definitely nice. Um, so yeah, we got tons of this stuff. So if you guys need sleeving, and this is just what's out, we got boxes of this stuff too. Boxes upon boxes. Anyway, let's sleeve some cables. All right, so let's talk about sleeving cables. So here is that, let's zoom in just a tad. So here's that six pin PCIe cable we were looking at before where I was talking about deep hitting the cables uh, using these extraction tools such as this Molex one here. Um, so this is a going to be kind of a tutorial on just how to sleeve the different sleevings, what they look like. Uh, I'm going to go over the heat shrinkless sleeving technique, uh, which is much preferred if you can use it to heat shrink. Um, basically there's a few connectors like fan pins and DuPont pins, you can't do the heat shrinkless sleeving technique. But anyway. So, let's extract this cable. All right, we are sleeving an extension. This would be the same rules for sleeving one of your own power supply cables, like a modular cable, same thing. All right, so we're gonna take our extraction tool. 
We're going to get between the connector and the pin outsides, outsides of the connector, inside of the outsides of the pin inside of the connector. All right, we're going to push that in. We're going to push forward on the wire here and then try to get that snap sound. There we go. Okay, applying pressure here at the palm, grabbing. Boom. Okay, got the pin out. All right, for the actual sleeving, you don't need this, but this is a tool we use here at Frozen because we have to whip through this stuff pretty fast, and these are a lot cheaper than they used to be. This is the old tried-and-true hot knife, they call it, or basically an electronic rope cutter. For sleeving your own ATX stuff or whatever, doing your own sleeving, this is a must-have tool. All this right, is amazing. In this example, I'm going to use some works. Cobra, and actually, I'm doing my job while I'm talking to you because... We have a company that orders these cables custom sleeved all the time. All right, so for uh, 18 to 16 gauge wire, you're generally going to want to use eighth inch sleeving. Um, quarter inch is going to be like for three and four pin fans. Um, some SATA cables can do quarter. Anyway, eighth inch is going to be your most most used kind for this sort of thing. You can get away with eight inch and a lot of stuff. So. Um, your power supply modular cables will be female pinned on either side. Now since these are an extension, you're going to have male and female pins. If you have the option, I prefer to sleeve over the female pin first. See how the end of this wire is kind of singed? It's not frayed. Let me show you what happens when you just cut one of these. Take your uh, sleeving and cut it with a knife. That's what you get. You get this end that looks like that, and what happens is as you start to use it, it'll begin to fray, like so. And what a lot of people do to help with the fray is they come up with a lighter and uh, just kind of singe the ends of those, which that will work. Of course, this one's already frayed. But what I like to use, if you can afford it or if you want to afford it, because they are somewhat expensive, hot knife. Okay, same thing as an electric rope cutter. You come right down on here, and boom, you got a perfectly singed off piece. Okay, that's what we do with all of our sleeving if frozen anything cut for a customer. Um, anytime we cut sleeving, we cut it with a hot knife or an electronic rope cutter. It's just, it's a must have tool for this. You will get your sleeving done much faster if you don't have to sit there with uh, angle cutters and cut it off. All right, so starting at the male end, now that we got that singed so it won't fray, what you can do is actually take your finger and kind of balloon this up a bit if you need to, or kind of split it where it's melted so that it'll open up if you have to. See that? And we're just going to get it over there. Now I'm holding this while you're tight, and I'm grabbing around the back of the connector and pushing that over. For the first few inches, you'll be able to just push it over, but then you're going to have to do the inchworm technique, I call it. Grab the sleeving by the end of the connector, not so much the wire, because the wire will bend. Okay, grab this end and push. And this is going to take some fiddling with. See how it's, it's kind of doing an inchworm move, and then we release on the other hand. And it's sort of hard to explain, you just have to do it. Basically, I'm inchworming over and sleeving this cable. Okay, this is the fun part of sleeving, is just putting it on. Alright, now, as you can see, we've, we've sleeved over. What you want to do periodically is take your finger, stretch that sleeving out. You want your sleeving stretched and taut. So let me go ahead and finish this one. Okay, kind of check your work. See how far you're going. because you don't want to overgo. Basically, you want to end with your sleeving right in the middle there. You know, not where those wings start, but also not where the rubber on the wire starts. You want to be right in the middle of the crimp. Okay, so I actually just went a little too far, and that's a little far forward. What I'm going to do, though, is take this, pull the wire, the sleeving back a little, and then I'm going to stretch it out the other way. And what's happening is you can see where some of the slack is. We need to work out. Go back. Check. Check. 
Okay, so now let's say we got it where we want it there. Kind of right in the middle. So, now you're left with sleeving on this end, and this is the predicament. Um, what a lot of people end up doing is they'll just cut the wire there, and then take some angle cutters and snip off to where they need to go. This is where the electric rope cutter comes into play. Alright. Changes the game completely. I see a lot of, uh, well, all of the big sleeving companies, they don't really seem to do this. At least they don't show this. Alright, so you're going to find the center of your connector where you want this cut. You're going to come to this hot knife and you're going to spin it off. Ready? Oof. And as you can see, now we got that cut right there where we want it to and we don't have to singe it with a lighter or anything. Alright, now I'm going to come back and stretch the sleeving out. Sorry, I always zoomed the wrong direction first. Okay. There we go. So, our sleeving is right in the middle of the connector on that side and right in the middle of the connector on that side. And it's even that way under tension. Now, if we do need to cut off a little bit more, we can come in and just remove a bit or take your angle cutters. All right, so now we're going to do the actual heat shrinkless sleeving technique. Um, even though it's called heat shrinkless, you still have to use heat shrink, um, ironically. Now, eighth inch heat shrink is probably what you're going to want to use in eighth inch sleeving. If you can get heat shrink that has a higher ratio than two to one, three to one, or four to one, uh, it's going to be great. And if you can get transparent or even semi-transparent heat shrink, that helps. So what I'm going to do is just cut this in half. Oops. I'm going to slice one of these in half. Okay. So we want to bring our heat shrink up so that it's past the sleeving area. Okay. So the heat shrink is past the center of the crimp. Take our lighter, and now what we're going to do is go ahead, and I'm going to try not to burn my camera while I do this. You want to use the blue section of the flame, and you want to kind of go back and forth on the pin. And now I'm not done yet, but as you can see, it's starting to look melty in there, because that's what you're doing. You're essentially, you're melting the sleeving over the connector. And the heat shrink is contracting on it to give it a good shape. All right, so I blow it off, and if you take a look there, see how it's all melted around? All right, take a knife or your angle cutters, get a slit in your heat shrink, and in this stage you can just rip it off, and boom. You have, let me see if I can get the light in there, you've got your beautiful heat shrink less sleeving technique done. I feel like you can't really see that too well. Lighting is always a problem when I do videos. But you can see that. And that's not coming off of there. That is nice, strong connection. Let me go ahead and do the other side. Again, I'm stretching the cable. Okay, and this is actually a little bit more sleeving than I want. It's a little bit too far up the connector. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just quick zip some of this off on here. Okay. So I basically just melted some more of it off. Okay, I'm going to stretch this again. Put that over the connector. Actually, if it's a problem, you can go from the side you've already sleeved. Okay, stretch it. Always make sure it's stretched as tightly as you can. So I'm holding the, the tension with this hand, which I've stretched. I'm using these fingers to push this forward. All right, and this just takes practice, guys. You just got to do this a hundred times to really get it down. Sleeving is not really hard. It's just time consuming and it's kind of artsy. Okay, so we got that nice melty look. Get a little blow off, cool it down. And there we go. Oop, man, this is hard to show. I would have liked to have melted that one a little more, but again, this is an on camera demonstration. 
they never come out perfect. So, like in the last video, we need to go in and reflare these pin these wings so the pins can go into the connector. Okay. Now we got our ATX cable. We're gonna put in that side. Nice easy click. We're gonna put it into the female. We're gonna put it into the female connector. Nice click. And there you go. You just have a beautifully sleeved cable.